Hello everybody, welcome to a new modern video. We're playing today Yugmoth, which has got a new card with Waz of a Drain. It's Agatha Souls Cauldron. This deck won the uh, Friday challenge and I am uh, trying it out. Uh, Agatha Soul Cauldron works well in uh, decks with a lot of activate abilities, which uh, Yugmoth definitely is. Mostly Yugmoth, but also a very strange combination with Grist. Uh, let's see what Agatha does. It says creature with plus one plus one counters on them have activated abilities of all creature exile with this. And this is basically an unlicensed there's you tap, you exile a card from the graveyard, and if you exile a creature, you put a plus one plus one on a creature you control. So you both have Grigard 8 in the build, so if you randomly play against like Glorious Vengeance or Snapcaster Mage, you can exile the card they target. Um, or you can also just exile your Grist or Yugmoth that either died or you milled over with another Grist and you give your, uh, uh, I don't know, you give your Young Wolf or a anything you put a counter on with Agatha the ability of them. And actually a creature can get a Planeswalker ability. It's gonna be weird. I know the rule but I've never seen or done it. But apparently if Exile a Grist with Agatha, uh, your creature will be able to plus one and will get a lower counter. So this is strange but it is how the rule works. So. Uh, we'll try that. Uh, Alvin Chorus is the card that you see often in these Yogma decks to fight the grindy matchups. You also have uh, uh, you also have Fulminator Mage, as you can um, blow up your opponent lands with Agatha Soul Cauldron if you exile Fulminator Mage. Uh, you have Spec Fury to gain some life, and that's and that's basically it. We also have a Wormite, I guess. Um, what other active abilities do you have? Well, the Lighted Halfling. It is an active ability. This doesn't say it isn't a mana ability. Yeah, yeah, active ability. And it also has an additional uh, word, a line of text, which is you may spend mana as though it were any color to active ability. So if your example, you exile your opponent creature activate ability that you can't use, uh, you can cast it. Although right now I don't have any example, maybe it will arise. arise. Or if you have an example in your mind, let me know in the comments. Uh, again, this is a very new card. Um, this was the first weekend where this card was legal in uh, on Magic Online, and uh, we already seen uh, Agatha Soul Cauldron both in this archetype and even in Hardened Skills. So, uh, basically, Elven Core's. It used to be uh, some list at the beginning of Lord of the Rings had the one ring in the sideboard of Yogamoth. I believe uh, a, a Chinese player top 16 the Pro Tour uh, with one uh, the one ring in the sideboard in Yogamoth. Okay, the final opponent. Let's go. When it has Giganta, we have a keep. Is not solid? You're gonna see immediately the uh, impact of uh, Agatha Soul Cauldron, which thus far obviously doesn't do anything. Rivers are empty. That could be Zoo. Back in the day, Giganta meant Tron, now it doesn't do it anymore. Because Tron now plays this member. Okay. Well, I really don't have much to do, and I think like casting this, I've accomplished nothing. I'd rather go Young Wolf, Dried Arbor here. Dried Arbor is like a top land, basically. Opponent can obviously stone rain it by like a lightning bolt on it. Hello, Daniel. Okay, they pass. Now, I could Court of Calling for two, but I don't think it accomplishes anything. So I'm just attacking for two here and play this artifact next turn. I could, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens, but. But yeah, so far this is, I guess this also holds as a um, random six. 
But had ran a six though, it would have killed my Dryad Arbor that wouldn't have returned a land. Breathe. All right, my opponent's playing a brew, so it could be anything. I don't think it's zoo because you wouldn't get forest if it's zoo. Hello, Jace. It's Naya Naya cards. Tarmogoyf. Yeah, I guess I can uh, pick up that Tarmogoyf. So there's another ending. Ending cannot exile Dried Arbor because it says no land. Yeah, this is the list from Claudio H. Hmm. <laughs> it's really not ideal. Uh, but I guess again, it can shrink the goyf. Welcome everyone to a new legacy video. Connor Man, thank you, thank you for the raid. Welcome. Yeah, I'm just exiling this reprieve, and Power Goyf will be a two three. Thank you, thank you. I was hoping they first night ended it <laughs> over Young Wolf. Ooh, nice with a red query. Okay. I mean, I could cord into a two drop like what Orkish Bowmaster. That sounds so weak. What else there is? Uh, I got a patra, but it doesn't do anything. I think I just have to wait. All right. A lot of damage coming in. I could flash in a Stormbound Geist uh, just to block. Sorry, Street Street Root guys just to block with it. That sounds uh, pretty weak. I could mean Chum get a three two, but then I don't have this anymore. I feel like I, I must take this and pass. Do I think MH3 would change the whole format like the previous two? I actually hope to. I actually hope to. I think that uh, MH2 is great because of that. I have a lot of fun when new powerful cards arise. But you have to buy them. Alright, I'll uh, eat a land here. Draw. But as a content creator, I hope so. Alright, uh, now, I got third land. I could go Endurance and try to block. I think that's my best bet. Because if I just go Grist, I mean, sure, I can do that. But, uh, again, nothing really happens. They just kill it. So, so far, I basically did nothing. Although, thankfully, also my opponent didn't do that much. Now, I have to court. Because this this dry arbor is dying, so I have to court here. And if I court the Grist, they just kill it. Creech, yeah. There's no way to put a plus one plus one counter on this. I think I must get an endurance here. That's my only that's my only play available. So 
So this way I shrink the um, Tarmogoyf. I can also put a plus one plus one counter on endurance, exile in my uh my 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 dried arbor. Oh, is this another ending? It's a saga. Okay. You have four mana now. You have one gigante in your hand. Ending again. Mananja. Eh, 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 okay. Yeah, I'm exiling something. What is it? I think it's the prismatic ending to shrink the goif. I need to draw creatures. Hey, come on. Why is this deck so empty? Alright, draw a card. And Diamango. This is honestly just first game, worst case scenario possible for this card. You draw two, it's legendary. The first one did literally nothing. So it's like, I basically top two mana to discard a card and had another empty sleeve in my hand. Opponent just totally ignored it too by just ending the, by always ending the creature rather than the artifact. So yeah, not the best, uh, not the best performance if you are, if you just click this video to check out this card does in this deck. But as I as you might imagine, stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned to see how it does in the next uh, matches. Yeah, basically just self mind rot. Also like obviously flooding. Anyway, uh Agatha, I have to exhaust something to shrink the goef. I can also shrink the forest. Uh yeah, so that Bren cannot return forest. I don't, I don't even think I have that many outs now, but we'll see. Okay. So this one can keep me alive. Nah, they have two construct too. All right. Can kill one, they have two blockers. I guess they just ping one and one go through. All right, let's go to the sideboard. Maybe I could have pumped it. Yeah, maybe I wasn't uh, dead, dead, but it wasn't even that great. Okay. So do I want some creatures here? Hmm. All right. How about Orkish Bowmaster? Can I cut it? My opponent, uh, I don't think plays any creature that die to it. They play brand that pings it. They don't play any card draw effects. I think I'm, I'm fine in cutting it. And bring in some removal spells. Elven Chorus is probably good in this matchup. Do I want to shrink a Yog Moth for a Shield Red or do I just add? Hmm. I'm a little bit scared of going so hard in expensive cards, but it might be fine. Fulminator Mage. It's a decent card against um, Urza Saga. I'll keep here where my. You wanna cut a cauldron? <laughs> Let's try this card a little bit more. I mean, this league uh, biggest goal is to try out this card, so I will attempt not to cut it. Although obviously, once you cut the Orkish Bowmaster, you will have uh, less. Um, Less targets for the plus one, plus one. Keeping this hand at six, I'll bottom here where it might. Uh, 
and I go over Grand Tomb, Young Wolf. What matchup is the care the feeder for? I'm gonna say burn. Yeah, I've seen a lot of lists with Elven Cores, especially the one from uh, Cloud UH Land. And I pass. Or do I want to chump attack? If I chump attack next turn, the young wolf can attack. Nah, let's hold it there. I don't know. Am I recording a new Carnies episode today? Yes! Today, uh, Javier, and Th uh, Javier and Anthony aren't uh, available because they are uh, very last days of testing for Worlds, but I got a special guest. So yeah, there will be a new episode of uh, the podcast today. Competitive Magic with the Carnies. So I'm one mana uh, short of Elven Cores. Think I'm gonna be two mana short of Ivan Core as soon as my opponent is exiling the Wall of Roots. I don't wanna play Hewar Might, the reason being it dies to Brennan Six, whereas the Young Wolf don't. If you draw a Gas Cradle, Gas Cradle lets me cast uh, Elven Chorus here. To start. I think I don't mind just slowing them down with a full miniature mage. Is it correct? It might be. Imagine if I draw Agatha's Caldron now. I examine Fulminator, put a counter here, and blow up another land. My opponent is Naya, so I'm just taking taking the, the Temple Garden. Maybe they need white mana, they have to shock. I think it's reasonable. Okay, the Revish Reclaimer can grow to 3 4 here. So let's watch out for that. Alright, let's draw a land for this powerful engine. Alright, let's go. On top of my deck I have a Dread Arbor, which I can't play unfortunately. Uh, I think I'm gonna play here or might. This is on top of my deck. It's not good because it dies to Bren. One has four cards in end. I have none. Oh, nice, the Exile my Dried Arbor. This is not Reveal, only I knew this card. It's not, uh, I don't know, Future Sight. Which I don't even know if Future Sight reveals it. Okay, there's a Yogmoth on top. But I don't have enough life totals to, to go crazy. But, you know, it is the dream, the dream draw here. Question is, uh, who do I attack with my Young Wolf? I think I'll attack Face. 
They can just untap them with Yorgmoth, so... Let's begin by attacking face. And then I'll go Yorgmoth. Could have tapped the might itself for mana. Uh, pretty sure it was summoning it's sick. Uh, anyway, Undying. Draw a card. Okay. Uh, how much do I want to draw? Because maximum I can cord for one if I draw a bunch of cards. I think I could at least uh, uh, untap a new card here. Sorry, I meant to say draw a new card here. I think I just go land go. I don't even have Zula Port Cut the Road. I set it out. They have four cards in hand, even if they go four mana prismatic ending on Yogmoth is a terrible situation. Okay, looks like they're going to combat here. Nice. I'll uh, simply block. And then I will um, use Yogmoth. And sacrifice this. Oh, we have Bajuka Bog. Okay. Minus one, minus one counter, draw a card. Pendulum even. Okay, that's blocked. They do want to me. Mm hmm. Reasonable. And then what? Knight of the Reliquary. Draw. Alright, I'll begin with a um, go for the throat on the night. Then I can attack with a uh, young wolf only on my opponent. I need to keep the yoga mod to stay back, I think. Can probably for right here. I want to pump it with a Pendle Haven. Nah. So I just attack you for one. Then I will untap the Young Wolf and put a minus one, minus one counter on. Uh, I think on the Reclaimer. Go to one. Draw a card. I need this to be decent. I need to be something. It's not decent. I can go Urborg and double proliferate. Is that better than Pendlehaven? I'm at one and they have Ren and Six. I'm actually dead on board. If I killed the Ren and Six with the attack, I would have died regardless. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't have outs. I need to draw something here. Uh, I don't think I doubt. I mean, I could. I don't think that given. I'm sure that. Okay, I guess I can. 
I could have uh, drawn this and then channel since it cost one less, drop, find a one drop. But it would have meant to attack this with both. I needed to attack this with both, that's for sure. As things yeah, as things are, I'm, I'm dead. Yeah. I'm just dead to brand ping. I was supposed to attack it, that's for sure. I forgot that I was going to die to it. If I attacked Vren, drew a card, post combat, and then channel attack and Uma, I would have still died. All right. I don't think we had the best draws, and uh, it is part of playing a deck with Mana Dork. You have hands without lands, your opponent kills your Mana Dork, and you have uh, you know, four drops, or in this case, six drops that did nothing like first game. Okay, on the play for round two, I have another decent hand. Land Halfling, your turn. Oh wow, they evoke Solitude Pitching Deputy of Detention. It's wild. Okay, I like Grist. Very good draw. I have a very good curve here, one, two, three, four, and I have lands to cast all my cards. I think I'm casting this one one end of turn. It's not ideal to play orc this way, but I think my opponent deck is like I actually don't know what they are. <laughs> but I feel like uh putting for applying pressure with uh orcs and uh what is this insects orcs and insects is the is a good strategy i think you run uh, zula port cutthroat over blood blood artist in order to kill your opponent even if they played the one ring not that it's a problem because you just kill them in your upkeep but you know in their upkeep sorry but you know they might just untap and play solitude and yog and things like that so you just have this win condition through the through the one ring. Okay, they play it two mana Leyland binding on the Grist. Makes sense. Ooh, nice draw here. Hmm. I think I'm still just happy to play. <sighs> I got a bunch of options here. Kinda wanna just kill the binding plus Grist and play Halfling. I could jam this Yogmot, but I. <sighs> yeah, I think I want to do that. So I can play here Delighted Halfling and Bozeju the Grist. I will ramp up my opponent, man, I know. They can go like Omnath Fetchland Ring now. It's not ideal. Okay, they don't have that, thankfully. They have a Teferino. Mm hmm. They can bounce one of my tokens. Oh no, they bounce the Orc. Huh. <laughs> okay. Unexpected. And they pass. Okay. Uh, let's begin by attacking Harry and attacking face with the rest. I kind of want to just once again slow roll the Yogmoth. And I just play like Young Wolf Orc this turn.
I want to have a working plan in case they go like the one ring or things like that. And in case they have um, a mass removal spell. Okay, so I'll let this come into play. The ability goes on the stack, and then I play Orkish Bowmaster. And I ping you. Then up the beanstalk. This is actually the first time that I get to respond with up the beanstalk with an Orkish Bowmaster. Which is obviously a play that happens a lot, because that's a sorcery. So basically what I want to do in this game is go wide. Uh, these decks are heavy on spot removal spell. Uh, they don't play, I mean, I guess they play Fury. But like, at the end of the day, what does Fury do in this board? It kills two insects, which I get for free. And uh, so like, it wasn't that big of a deal. And I can just kill the Fury with Grace Minus. Whereas if I just play Yogmoth, I spend four mana, they kill it. I'm forced to kill my board to draw some cards. Whereas I think I can just go wide and actually kill them. Like, I didn't want to go card advantage. That's their game. Like, they want to do card advantage. I think I should go under. But again, every game is different. But this was my idea of this game and, and, and it worked out. And I'm glad for that. Okay, so once again, I'll have the Elven Cores. A Kazula for Cutthroat. Because I don't care about killing them with a combo, I think. Once you go off, you go off. Uh, this Hayward might, I mean, they have Leyland Binding, but they also have Brandon Six. I think like that's just way too bad to have one ones. Uh, so go for the throat, kills a bunch of things. The even showed me Deputy of Detention, which kind of makes me think that maybe spot removal spells are good. Mm. Uh, I definitely want Fulminator Mage. Once again, I want to believe in this Agatha Soul Cauldron. I think I'm taking out Apatra. I feel like... I might, I might be taking out too many combo pieces, but like, maybe I don't care. And I'm taking out Endurance as well. Another decent hand. Put him all against two five. I think uh, killing uh, up the beanstalk is never a great thing. You just accept it. They, they drew a card. You, it, if you kill it, it's, it's, it's too bad. Like they spent two mana on it, and yeah. Shieldred, I think Shieldred is particularly bad against white decks. Shieldred is good against non-white decks. Whenever your opponent has like Teferi, Binding, Solid, she, you particularly do not want Shieldred. That's why she's in the sideboard. Hmm. I'm afraid that if I play Wall of Roots, they just... Um, they just go Teferi Bounce and it's terrible. Just passing and going Orc. Also, Orc is good against uh, if they had up the Beanstalk there. I think I'll Shock. I have a double black card in my hand. I might be drawing like back to back Forest and I can't cast this. That would be terrible. The life total shouldn't really matter in this matchup. I missed a land drop, which I didn't want to miss. I can go Wall of Roots and then I can go Court of Calling for one. I think that's alright. I should actually cast uh, Young Wolf because it's free. Wait, it's not free. It actually makes my cord one more. I didn't think about that. One of Roots is basically a uh, Gilded Lotus. Our opponent kills my Gilded Lotus. Oh, I can't play cord. I need triple green. I forgot about that. All right, then. It was still a fine play. Unfortunately, my opponent had an instant removal spell, but you know, I'm not unhappy about it. I did an attack, which might, you know, is a mistake, but again, I think it was worth the risk. Yeah, I forgot about a triple green. Enigmatic incarnation. 
Huh, that's why they play Deputy there. Okay, they can play a 7 drop here. What is it? Elish Norn, the Grand Cenobite. I can kill Elish Norn. And maybe my opponent doesn't have any other enchantment for Enigmatic Incarnation. Oh, up to Beanstalk. I was going, I just immediately, my, my first thought was their deck should play Yorin. And I remember Yorin is banned. We're going to get Rally around the Opta Beanstalk. Uh, it's fine. I, I can probably concede. I'm sorry. I mean, I could let my opponent enjoy their game, I guess. Oh, actually, check this out. I can go... I got that Soul Cauldron. It only copies the activate ability. It doesn't make this in, a creature into an English Norn. Don't worry about it. But I can now exile the Wall of Roots and make an insect uh, activate its, the Wall of Roots ability. Again, as a player who have uh, played an Enigmatic Intervention in Pioneer uh, a lot, I can tell you that if this card is online, you lose. If you're, I mean, I guess we're playing a combo deck, but I don't even have lands, so. In the, like mid range deck, just do not beat Enigmatic Incarnation. Anyway, let's go ahead and exile Wall of Roots. Okay, finally, this card is doing something meaningful. No, they selected my insect. <laughs> wow, I'm drawing a card off the beanstalk. All right, then I'll uh, pass the turn. What's happening? They besiege you? My Agatha. I want to use the three cards to deal with my Agatha Soul Cauldron. <laughs> I mean, they have one card in it. Like, there is a world where they don't have follow-ups here. They can go up the uh, incarnation, up the beanstalk, three drop, or glass bull mimic up the beanstalk. Sky cleave. Okay, so they can exile the young wolf and attack the grist. I'm not giving up here, though. My opponent just gave me an extra land, you know, used a, a lot of resources. Yeah, Glass Blue Mimic Renegade Rallier. Another Pioneer combo. I'll bring in Force of Vigor post Cyborg, that's for sure. Yeah, I think I'm just uh, getting a Dry Arbor in the turn. With Court of Colin. No, I have to do this now. <laughs> Spreading seas. All the way from the Mystical Archive, or whatever it's called. Spreading seas. The first uh, list that I downloaded to play today was from Zerk, and he did not play Dried Arbor in the Super Qualifier, which was crazy to me. And then I copied uh, Claude UH list instead. Because sometimes, like, you net deck those lists, and like, whoa, they got Deputy of Detention off of Up the Beanstalk, but Deputy says no land. So Dried Arbor dodges here. Okay, what do I do? If I go Stronger Geist, I do, I can go, like here I can go Stronger Geist pass, and then I can play Court of Calling for a Young Wolf. I don't think that's unreasonable. You Usman Golista, yeah. I think that's not unreasonable. I'm setting up the combo. 
I think my opponent kind of throw in here and we might be winning this game. Well, Arbor, Arbor Dryad was definitely a benefit this game. I was able to, and also last game, in two runs, sure. I need to remove the Arbor Shockles. I mean, sometimes like, when it comes to do what I do, which is just net decking other people's decks and playing them as, as best as I can, it is really hard to net deck a list And understand uh, it because sometimes like I'm in, in my mind I go like oh I have core for one but then I don't anyway I'm at nine if I chum block this I take nine I think it's I'm officially dead here I think I'm officially dead here because I go core for one chump three say no but basta all right GG All right, Force of Vigor is good in this matchup. I just didn't know what they were playing. It's <laughs> not an intuitive deck they're playing. I think I'll cut Elven Chorus here. I'm on the play, I don't know. I have to cut a final card. Uh, can be a stronger Geist. All right, keep. I just want to go once again over Grunt Tomb, over Grunt Tomb. Yeah. Mm. No, nah, not really. Well, let's go. I'll go over Grunt Tomb first, then I'll see what to do with this bird and catacomb. Waspul Shore. Ooh, Pendle Haven. I think considering that I have nothing, I'm just playing a Orcish Bowmaster and attack. They might also have the Up the Beanstalk. Let's see if they have Up the Beanstalk. They take three, and then they take two from the Orc. Oh, Spreading Seas. All right, what if I get forest? Sorry, swamp. Now nah, let's get overgrown tomb. And play Orkish Bowmaster. So once again, trying to go under, just like the previous game. Ooh, the hunger tide. Let's go for it. One, two, three, very aggressive here. Poon is already at 10 and they haven't started playing yet. And the Laban, unassuming forest from the legends. Actually, you know, pump your things and so on. Whoa, I milled a grist. If you mill a grist, you get uh, two copies of it. Talk it all creatures. If they go endurance to block my orc, I'll accept it. They go solid shit, pitch night of autumn. Okay. Uh, adios, orcish bowmaster. Do you have Ephemerate? You do. I can pump whatever they block with the Solitude so that at least they don't get to Ephemerate back.
There's three creatures in my graveyard and Grist as an emblem, or rather an ultimate, which is quite powerful. Alright, as I said, I must uh, kill this uh, Solitude here. Thanks to my land that comes to play untapped. Alright, you're 11. Uh, I'm playing all my cards. Hey, I'm not playing the Takenuma. I think I have enough mana. So the Ephemerate uh, stays exiled. And they're once again on top at 10 life. Unfortunately, they had a very good turn. But they had to spend 3 cards. And we're still in a decent position, so. Let's see what happens now. They can go... Incarnation, sacrifice the spreading seas. Okay, they go sky cleave. Unfortunately, my grist hits the dust. But again, I'm attacking with all here. Yeah, it's not a bad position to be in. Opponent has two cards in it only. Attack with all the creatures. And once again, pen the laven. Making it impossible for my opponent to eat my one ones. Like they, if they want to, yeah, if they want to block, they have to block that. Yeah, they just don't block. So I'm dealing a bunch of damage. And then I pass. I have a... Uh, I could also actually had Orcish Bowmaster up. If I spent 4 mana now and then 2 mana my opponent's turn. But I would have dealt 1 less damage. Well, I'm I'm there with you, Zerk. I also prefer to sign less expensive cards when they ask me. I'm like, can I? All right. Looks like they want to play Dress Down Maid. Oh, they want to kill this. Uh, that's okay. I think I'm gonna go Swamp, and then I get a mana from Wall of Roots, and then. Uh, I'll get Takenuma back. Something. What do we get back? Well, I could get back Grist. So think about that. Young Wolf is dying. Because my opponent has a four life. So if I get if I get back Grist, they're dead on board. Yoga Moth is also very good. All right, they conceded. I was thinking about what they could have to not die on board, but they, yeah. All right, take a bath and break and be back for round three. <laughs> oh, Kalira, thank you, thank you. If turn one loss was to Naya Depths, not no, Naya Depths, Naya Reclaimer. Round number three. I am mulliganing this hand. It doesn't do anything. All right, I'll keep this one. Hey, what do we bottom? How about we bottom a land here? Let's see how this goes. Flood strand go. I'll play the light halfling off my pendle haven. Let's see how does the soul I got soul cauldron work. Hmm. Playing as Murktide, this might also work as a I mean we've seen it in the first game as a pseudo um, unlicensed errors picking off delirium. No, it's not Blue Red Merc, it's a different deck. Oh, it's um, Jeskai Breach. 
Just Kai Breach. Kind of want to just go Agatha rather than Wall of Roots. The opponent might already go off, but like it's not that Agatha prevents you prevents them from going off. Uh, it's okay. I'll go for a wall of roots. As we talked about in the previous match, drawing drag arbor is bad. It's like it's like one of those uh, one mana artifacts that you put in your Urza saga deck. It's terrible to draw them, like the Shadow Sphere and Pithy Needle of the World. It's just nice to have them in the deck when you play your toolbox card. But, uh, yeah. It's like the more experienced player can live without them, but I think the less experienced player must still play the <laughs> easy toolbox cards. Oh, the Mouth Fuji. Yesterday I saw a... Yesterday I saw a... Um, news about Mount Fuji who wants to reduce the tourists. There's too many tourists on the Mount Fuji. <laughs> Same thing with Venice. They want to put a limit on the tourists in Venice. Now you have to book your ticket to enter Venice. But I think it might actually, I think it's actually happening in 2024. If you're planning to go to Venice, you have to book your ticket now. Which is kind of funny to say, but it does make sense. But it's fun, funny to say. Alright, it's less funny than my opponent play the turn 3, the 1 ring. Uh, what's my play here? I think I want to go Stronger Geist, Agatha Soul Calderon here. Oh, I can't. Uh, then I just go Stronger Geist. Uh, what can I do? Like, I really don't think that Agatha stops my opponent combo. Like, if they go Breach, Station, there's nothing I can do. I'm just playing two creatures. Oh, wow. I can go Agatha... Oh, wow. That's super cool. All right, let's do that. I can go Agatha Soul Calibran. And then I exile... Um... Uh, the Halfling. Oh, never mind. It's colorless mana. It doesn't work. You tricked me. Person in the chat. You tricked me. How does it feel to trick a streamer? That's okay. I'm used to it. <sighs> Play Dry Arbor and pass. Yeah, I know you're chatting. That's why I... It's my fault. It's my fault. It's my fault. It was a new play and I got excited, but it was wrong. Uh, the other day, a four season, I was talking to a friend who plays Amulet of Vigor who watched my 5 hour run with Amulet. And he said that it was fun that I was just uh, saying a play and then turning my head to read chat if somebody like confirmed it. <laughs> he said I was very insecure, which I was, I was very insecure. Similarly to Yoga Moth, although with Yoga Moths, I feel like I never have anything going on that they just kill all my things anyway. So there's not that many plays available. But I, I thought that this was a good play available, but it wasn't, it was a terrible play. Although it doesn't really matter. My opponent is just crushing me like, it's not even close. Yeah, I think it was a fine play. How good is Caldron in Emery decks? I mean, remember, remember, Chad, the cards like this are card disadvantage. You must remember that you're playing a card you don't get anything in return so you only get something in return if it's really good for you something like uh, a combo deck for example otherwise if you play that in an emery deck you just play it and sure you're i don't know <laughs> well what's what's the goal okay so here cord i can't card for a one drop but i think i draw the cord for an endurance A 
could cord for an endurance. This is that they also have the one ring. Hello. If I go stronger, guys, I have. Uh, do I have enough mana to also play? So I go strong, you guys, and I have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, I think I have enough to play in Duels. So I'm just passing now. Because I need all my creatures to endurance my opponent. Was losing two lives to the one ring. Who's uh, uh, topping three mana? So here I could also go Orkish Bowmaster. No, but I think I want Endurance. I could a quarter for a two drop. No, I only had uh, this three. Oh, because this. No, no, no. This doesn't tap both for mana and for quarter calling. <laughs> that would be a little bit too much. They play Underworld Breach. Um, I'm dead. There's nothing I can do about it. If I go and do that in response, they have the combo in play. I guess I have Agatha. Does this do something? They sacrifice a zero drop. To mill three, and I try to exile it with Agatha. Maybe let's go for that. Yeah, I doubt it's enough, but it might be. The thing is, if they let this result, they also have like a Noli Heat, Lightning Bolt, and things like that, you know. Like, uh, maybe, I, yeah, also, I'm probably losing anyway. Yeah, like, Breach Station plus. Plus, like, all the, all the permanents in play beats Graveyard 8. Like, the thing is that with one ring, you just draw so many cards that you just have all the pieces. In a normal game of Magic, you wouldn't have all the pieces. Or like, turn 3 ring on the play when Mechurv was, I don't know, a 0 5 on turn 2. It's. Allora, you are. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, this is a wizard. Oh, wow, both are wizards. Impressive. Again, it doesn't matter, like, I was, there's, there was no way either way I could win. Okay, now, we got Force of Vigor again. Endurance. Um, let's take out the bad cards of the deck. Hmm. I'll keep in Agatha just because, I mean, they have Emery. Agatha, like, you know, exiles. Uh... Let's take a dry Dabor. Let's follow the Zerk advices. Okay, game two. Let's go. I'll start with a forest and a one one. A very fair start. 
a war might can also blow up and there is a saga and even in the one ring I just go for Agatha Soul Cauldron here. I don't want to play Hayward Might without the target. This matchup looks very good for it. Hassa's Oracle. That's an excellent blocker. I got the Sokadro and Exile and Kikijiki. Mm, that doesn't sound like very competitive magic esque. Kikijiki in general, uh, it's not very good in the modern. If they unban Birthing Pod, then you would see a lot of Kikijikis around, but until then... I don't think we'll see many Kikijikis. <laughs> Spring live drum. Okay, and they pass. Yeah, I'm just playing this endurance as an attacker. It's not pretty, but what can I do? Is there any Mary to exile my own land? I don't think so. Oh, is this Flame of Anor? Wow, I can blow up an artifact and kill my Endurance. That's sick. Yeah. That's Clap. Flame of Anor, what a strong card. Yeah, they have a lot of wizards, right? Thassa's Oracle, Emery, and Rona. All or wizards. Urza? Fury. Okay. And draw. Mm. Okay, I can play Adelated Halfling and pass with Endurance up.
The Uffling trades with a Fury. Peferino. I'll play Endurance. And then Teferino resolves. And you bounce Endurance. <laughs> Jepader! Thank you for the second month. Welcome, welcome, Jepader. Who doesn't want to trade Fury for Halfling? Ooh, Agatha. I think I want to go Young Wolf. And then I want to play Court of Calling. For Orkish Bowmaster, killing the Teferi. Yeah, I think I like that. Because I can't, I can't exile my Yoga Moth with Agatha if I want to do that. Like, I don't need Court of Calling for a Yoga Moth. I have Agatha exiled Yoga Moth. Thank you to Ninja. Suijetsu. Welcome, welcome. I just want to kill Teferi. My deck has a lot of flash cards. I didn't want to be under the Teferi uh, static ability for the rest of the game. Vini. Much love. Thank you, thank you. Turu, turu, turu. Uh, this weekend I was in Berlin. I watched a lot of LSV YouTube channel to learn uh, the new draft for Vegas. And uh, he, uh, you know, just like me. Is that a Fury? No. Okay, the one ring, that's fine. And he just like me, you know, streams and then uploads on YouTube, but he doesn't have the sub sound. I don't know, I feel like I like the sub sound. I don't know how does the YouTube viewer feel about that. Thank you, FireTML. Welcome to you too. Our opponent plays the one ring. Remember, we do have a word might that exiles uh, an artifact. Killing Fury. Mm. Oh, okay. One more raid. What do we do? So I definitely want to go here where I might kill the uh the one ring. I think I'm gonna start with uh, Agatha. I kinda wanna kill a Rona. Mm. I don't think I shouldn't kill a Rona, no. Okay, for sure I go Agatha. Good morning, Otashi. Let's begin by attacking for two. Hmm. And then I go Agatha. Hmm. I'll exile your moth. I'll put a plus one plus one counter on Orkish Bow Monster, which now is the active ability of your moth. So I'll pay a life, shrink this, suck a creature. Draw a card. So now Orkish Bowmaster is a Yog Moth. I think I'm gonna suck the Halfling and kill Yog Moth and kill um 
young wolf. Okay, so now I have Yomoth Bargain. Uh, I cited out uh, the combo. This is a poor cutthroat and also a Patra. Um, I want to kill Rona. So I want to kill Rona here. So what am I doing right now? Do I need to kill Rona? Yeah. Let's kill Rona. Is this a better way to kill Rona? Mm, probably not. Let's just kill this orc army token. Okay, that's an offling. Also wanna play War Might. It kill the one ring. And play half link pass. Again, I don't have any ways to um, I don't have any ways to win because I set him out. And I have endurance pitch in case I'm putting wants to combo off, so I think this is best. And I'm, I can draw a lot of cards if I want to, so. I have Yogmot's Bargain in play currently. Because the, there's Agatha, there's... Um, You don't have endurance pitch. Yeah, but like, I can't draw cards right now. Okay, so they were here to call your and I guess I'm going to do the thing a little bit. All right, so that's a green card for the I didn't bring a shield right now. Yeah, I think I'm I'm kind of going to I'm going I'm going to stop here. That's fine. I have my green pitch for endurance now. I have my grist. I don't want to go too low on life. Mm -hmm. Right. Eh, 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 eh. I don't know if they do have too many options. The opponent is playing the grinding station breach. I have too many options. I don't know what to do. It's a terrible situation to be in.
I just made a random game action and passed the turn. But my opponent eventually concedes. Line bolt my orc. Rip. Who is your librarian? How was Berlin? Actually, I went to two restaurants that I have never gone in my life. Uh, apparently, Berlin is very famous for vegan food, which I've never eaten in my life. And so we went to. Okay. We went to a um, a vegan Japanese and vegan Vietnamese restaurant, and yeah, they tasted like uh, like normal. It was good. Hmm. Yeah, working response. I was so focused on wanting to play this endurance here. And then I also went to a Korean barbecue, which I also very rarely get in Italy. So it's a, it's a, I really enjoy eating much different food than than here. Only heat. Okay. <laughs> the one ring. Okay. <laughs> Once again, they had the ring protection, so they will survive this turn. Okay. Um, mm -mm. Does Grist? Each opponent loses life, so we kill through the ring, right? So I go proliferate. Proliferate. And then we kill with Grist. All right. 
But I want removal spells like Legion's End go for the throat. Opponent has Emery, Rona. Maybe I do. I draw the cauldron so far. Oh, I mean, I only played uh, three rounds. It was very bad in the first game. I remember that. This game was fine. Probably would have won if it was any card, though, because I had it all. Not sure. Hard to evaluate. Yeah, Legion's End. Uh... Is an interesting choice in the sideboard. But then again, I'm just net decking, so. I don't know why it's here. You want to see some full miniature mage action? Yeah, that'd be cool if it happens. That'd be very cool if it happens. Alright, I go, and I have a lot of Orkish Bowmasters. Hopefully they don't uh, kill my Halfling end of turn. Although, actually, I don't care. I mean, it does nothing in my end Halfling here. Yeah, actually, I hope I, they kill it. Can't see if they have a two year up. Cursed. I think I'll go end of turn uh, orc regardless. Just, just go in orc end of turn because I have a million of them. Then I'll play another one to, to kill the construct. Classic horde, the zero green creatures. Should this deck for Yavi Maya? I'll pass here. I want to see what they do with the saga first. I could have dealt an extra damage with the Pendle Haven. Maybe that was better. They would mana up though. I don't know. I could have still gone like Grist if they tapped. I think I think it was fine. Maybe I'll miss one damage. Is this an Emery? Oh, yeah. Okay. Did 
that never expect the third orcish bowmaster. I can easily die to Shadow Spear though. My deck does okay, yeah, yeah, that's true actually. I do have a answer to the one right to the Shadow Spear. Ember's good. I hope I can draw green land to play Endurance. Oh, they've been to Underworld Breach. But I make a 3 3 construct. My orcs are officially stopped. Didn't take much to officially stop them. I'd love to draw Twilight Mire. That would be probably my best draw right now. Okay. To go to 10. Twilight Mire. Another swamp, uh, man! I thought this deck was mono green. I thought the problem used to be to find black sources with this deck. I think I must kill Emery. Not decimate my board state. Maybe just let Emery live. Cause I need to find green I need to put green cards into play for this court of calling. Like they can't really draw extra cards with Emery, so they're just flashing back. I mean, I don't know what they might get from here. If they have like a Pirate Spell Bomb, it sucks. But I don't think they play Pirate Spell Bomb. I think it's just getting Shadow Spear. No, they got Urza's bubble. Mishra's bubble. Wow. Surprising. I guess they set it out Shadow Sphere. Maybe they didn't bring it in. Okay, so they have access to 30 mana right now. Make opponent draw four. Uh, I don't have anything that makes my opponent draw, unfortunately. I wish I did. We are attacking. Grist with both. Uh, Rip Grist. Yeah, Rip Grist. I don't want to lose my orcs. They have uh, Mishra's Bubble Blows Emery. A green land. Okay, so I can court for anything you want. What is the best thing ever to court for? I don't really have much to court for. I mean, it can just be a uh, yoga moth. Do I want to play halfling? Probably. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's play halfling. And let's cord. I think I'm actually gonna tap my. I guess I can just do it in combat phase so I can block and suck. That's probably better. Yeah. Okay. 
You like legacy right now? If you like control decks, they're they're very good right now in legacy. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I wanna go block block. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go block, block. Okay. And then I'll play chord. Okay, Yog. We can even proliferate. Okay, Yog. Put a counter on Emery. And I put a counter on the unblocked construct. My orcs are oh okay. Do I want to proliferate or do I want to keep all these cards? I think I'm gonna actually keep all these cards. I'm taking five. Emery doesn't really do much right now. I can't really suck bubble. Yeah, they pass. Tuck draw, they were might. Okay, I'll look. Let's begin with. Uh, they were might. Then Agatha. And now I could uh, give my creature the ability of they were might if I want to. I can also give them the ability of grist. Let's do that. If I, a uh, rules question that is actually pretty obscure, but if I give Ilbar Might the ability of Grist, can I plus one immediately or is he summoning sick? Okay, they're doing something. What is it? Flame of Anor. Ooh. Okay, uh, well, now I need to do something else. Ay, ay, ay. <sighs> I think I need to sock those uh, Ortish Bowmaster. I just proliferate. Killing Emery and shrinking those and uh, do I wanna suck the Zewar might? Should have done that before. But I feel like this is okay now. Nah. Yeah, it was a mistake. I should have um should have sucked this and put it through it before. I think I wanna draw some cards here. Yep. Pass. Should have shrunk the Rona. She just shrunk the Rona and not the Construct, since I'm going to kill them. With this Force of Vigor right now. 
Yeah, yeah, no, nah, it was a mistake. It was a mistake. It's it's hard. I'm also under the timing restriction. It's not easy. I think she gets more difficult. Yeah. I'll take well what's that two three I'll take three they can't really draw any of the cards because of the orcs Go for the throat, and then I'm attacking with both. Oh yeah, there is the, um, the one ring trigger. Again, guys, it's not uh, an easy game. I'm under the clock playing a difficult deck. It's a difficult spot. I forgot about the ring trigger. I hope you can understand it. Also, hopefully, it doesn't matter too much. Okay, so my opponent has a four seven life. They bubble, so they're gonna trigger orc again. The construct is shrunk. I'm ahead in the timer, but I might also just die. Let's see if they go under the breach, we have an answer. Let's see if they attack with it. I don't. I'm just playing this endurance regardless. You okay? So, trigger I got two orc. I'll attempt to kill the construct and attack it all. Okay, uh, attack it all, and say GG. Woo. Okay, thank you. Th thanks to the Orkish Bowmaster, I had three of them in play. They heavily stopped my opponent playing and then also won the game. A classic situation of uh, Orkish Bowmaster beating uh, the one ring. All right, yeah, this is a good match. All right, uh, I think about the break. Come back for a round four. GG, GG. Good game, good game. Thank you Thank you for the third month. Welcome.
of game. Yeah, no easy for sure. I was struggling at the beginning of that third game because I didn't have a green mana. I had like cord and things like that. Yeah, we have three Agatha Soul Cauldron. Just uh, stress testing the card. Yeah, okay, I think it was very good last game. Round number four, I'll take a mulligan. Keeping this one. Bottom the cord. Any stronger guess was the bottom? I don't know. Ooh, this might be Demir. Demir. Imagine scrying to the bottom of Magic Online. It it is the mirror. But their wall of roots are uglier than mines. So much black mana in this deck. Or I guess I just draw a lot of it. Opponent duo has the best mana dork of magic being on the play. With that type of mana dork. Your favorite indeed. I think I'm just going to play a stronger, a stronger guys like this, and then I have one, two, three, four, five. So I can core for two. Can I go stronger guys orc? I sure I can. So let's go Strangle Geist, pass. In my opponent turn, I can play Orc and Cord. What's the Mirror Breaker or Yogmoth? Yogmoth? Did you visit in Bologna? Nice. I live there uh, one year. Uh, restaurant food spots. <laughs> I mean, the city center is beautiful, so yeah. Make sure to visit the city center. For sure. Uh, okay, I want to go in response. Orcish Bowmaster on the inside. Lena. Uh, yeah, I don't have a boss with a Yogmoth, so I must let this resolve. And they can attempt to kill my orc. I think I'm gonna play another orc in response. So that if they try to draw a card, I'm triggering it. Hmm. I can also just get a. Like a Strangle Geist end of turn. <laughs> Mattia, buongiorno, thank you for the fifth month. If I get a Patra, my opponent can just kill a Patra. But like that, to kill two creatures and they trigger the orc. I kind of want to get a Patra. Because I can also just go like Undying Creature. That's maybe safer. It's 
Maybe safer, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, they have cord as well. I got that feeling that they have cord as well. Okay. Let's play Young Wolf. And let's go land the old mod. And now opponent. I have three and dying creature. A very large board. A new okay. Uh Okay, I'll put a minus one minus one on Wall of Roots. Because if I put it on the insect, the opponent just sacks it for Yogamoth. Like, they're gonna sack this insect anyway. Might as well shrink the Wall of Roots. And Yogamoth cannot damage Yogamoth, that's funny. Mm, the core for two. Do I want to do something in response? Yeah, I'll do this in response. Havok, thank you for the third month. Keep in mind, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm looking for Court of Colin. I have 15 cards to do that. If I find it, I'll get the... Mm. I guess even if I get Zulaporth, the opponent has Yogmoth in play. Okay, I found it. That was quick. If I find Zulaporth, opponent just kills it with Yogmoth. So maybe I should first kill your creatures and then go Cord. I don't think I can. If I kill your insect, you kill my token army. I can maybe kill your like what are they getting with that cord anyway? Oh Cleopatra. Hmm, yeah, I like I like Cleopatra. Uh, I guess I can I must kill this first and then get Cleopatra. Otherwise they can kill a Patra. I guess it responds to them killing a Patra. What does a Patra even do? Sorry, I forgot. I just put snakes. Hmm. Okay, let's try and get the... The problem is that if I get Zulaport, if I get Zulaport and I sack the first, in response they kill my Zulaport. Can just kill both of the creature and get Zulaporth. No, because I will require three creatures to kill this, then I don't have any more. Cord and hold priority. Oh, I get it. Oh, that's smart. Thank you, Mulligan Cafe. Yeah, let's do that. So let's hold priority while we play Cord of Call in here. Yeah, yeah, that is the way. For sure. So we core for two. Ability on the stack. I'll kill your creatures. <laughs> this is a, quite a stack here. An opponent uh, kills my Orkish Bowmaster, which I use to kill your wall of roots. That's a funny stack. Okay, so I think I'm good to clear the stack now.
I get the Zula port and I win. Because my opponent now doesn't have any more creatures to to kill my Zula port in response. Very very good, very good, very good game. <laughs> it's crazy how much deep these decks are. All right. I'll have Shieldred and Endurance. Although actually Shieldred dies to Grist, so it doesn't seem great. I'll bring in spot removal spells. I think once again I take out the combo. Nah, maybe combo is good in this matchup. It's so bad to draw though. So bad to draw. This feels really bad to draw. Maybe also Dried Arbor should have gone out. Okay. Might seem weird, but do I just take out Yogmoth? I'm gonna be Orc. Yeah, let's take out Orc. Yeah, she'd have definitely taken out uh, Dried Arbor because it dies to Orc. Yeah, Yugamoth's worst matchup is uh, Scam, which is also the most popular deck. But Modern is so deep that even the most popular deck would be like 10% anyway, so... You can easily play the whole tournament without ever facing the matchup. I'm not saying I would do it, but... Alright, put into a very good start. On the contrary of me. But again, I was on the draw and they had a... Uh, I guess they didn't have Mana Dork. Well, sort of. Sort of Mana Dork on turn two. Or, sorry, in turn one. With a Wall of Roots. I don't say Scam is 50-50. You're lying to yourself if you say so. Yeah, my opponent uh, might have a cord for four. It's a lot. This might have a cord for four. She's a thing with that. Have. Um, I'm just gonna concede. The game might, I mean, the league is taking too long. We're already at two hours. I don't wanna be here the whole day. And I was most likely going to lose that game regardless. I mean, I went uh, live uh, like an hour earlier today because I knew I was going to play two slow decks today.
still. All right. So I'll end off, Lang. Don't have a turn to play. I guess I have Agatha. Not exciting. I could bolt a bird. I think I'd rather not. I can also go Cord for zero. And then Yogmoth. And maybe it's all right. Oh, oh yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't. Never mind. I was just scared for a moment that this adds colorless. It's very bad if they just pass the turn because then they could have Orcish Bowmaster. I'll get the Overgrown Tomb and I'll cord for the Dryad Arbor. Wow, they <laughs> they milled an insect. It's so it feels so good when it happens. Somehow it picked up an F6, but okay. So we're we're in second phase, which I should have not been, but okay. I'll go Yogmot. Not that it matters. A... Uh oh, true. I, I didn't think about it. I could steal the. Ah, that would have been a great play, actually. I did not think about that. Yeah, I could have gone Agatha and your Grist. So I think this is also a decent play. But yeah, 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 yeah. I was thinking about only my graveyard, but this also takes your opponent abilities. Okay, let's see what they do. If they minus Grist to kill my Yoga Moth, they can kill their insects. Now it's gonna be harder. If they suck the young wolf, what do I do? Yeah. Uh, do I want to kill? I think I'm just killing the halfling. Cause then it can go Agatha on Yogmoth. Oh, they have work. You you bought the cauldrons. How much did you did you did you buy them for? And how much are they now? I have no idea actually. You play Paper Legacy today. You play Elves. Nice. Oh wow, I didn't know that. Uh... Okay, what, what, because I already killed him. I could kill another creature of mine. First, I guess I'm gonna draw a card. I guess I want to draw a card to see what I draw. Okay, I drew an endurance. I think I'm like accepting Yogmot dead here. But yeah, I should have under percent gone uh, Agatha last turn. Okay, let's go Agatha. 
I think I'm going to exile your crest. Put in um, a plus one plus one counter on halfling. I'd like to activate the ability of uh, Grist. And then I pass. So Halfling is now a Grist, somehow. does Agatha do? You exile a creature, sorry, exile a card, if it's a creature, you put a plus one plus one on a creature, and your creatures have active abilities of the cards exiled with it, so. Now my Dwight Halfling is a Grist, and next turn, my Dwight Halfling might also be a Yogma. Okay, they Bazage you my... Agatha, to be in it. I got a tomb tapped. I wouldn't say it's main that graveyard hate yard. Like it exhausts one card and it costs two. All right, so you are minus in now. Sure. I guess you want to kill my halfling. Play Endurance. You can put for your green mana. <laughs> That's true too. Could have gotten the forest. I didn't expect them to kill the halfling, honestly. Yeah. It was much better if I kill if I kept the forest instead. How do you attack now? Sure. How much you do? Just waiting around. But yeah, it would have been very brutal if I just got a force instead of a top land. A uh, something good. <laughs> Did I side out Orkish Bowmaster? I didn't. Maybe it's correct. I don't know. Probably not. No, there's a lot of one ones hand card draws, so it's not correct. Jugmoth dran versichern. That's a gal concede. Draw a million cards and I got nothing.
Round number five against Actress. I have a decent hand, it's a little bit underpowered. I don't think it's a decent hand. Go swamp, go. Mm -mm -mm. I've had this idea for a while, and the MTGO people seem to hear a lot, so I think I'm gonna pitch to them. I want to play, I want to. I'd love to play a league where the timer starts at 10 minutes. Instead of um, 25. I think I'm gonna throw up, throw, throw an email at them. Maybe it'll happen. I'd love to stream. Uh, 10 minutes timer league. Okay. Remember, Cabal Coffers does not add any mana. This land is very bad if you don't draw Urborg. It actually, it's not a game object <laughs> without Urborg. No, I mean, that's not true that four color would be out of the question. Because if you are playing very fast, you can time out your opponent with any deck. Like playing blue eye control, you don't need to put any win condition. You just win on timer. You know? Yeah, we don't play Arbor, don't worry about it. I'll play around the Damnation here. Holding this uh, orc. Yeah, I don't I don't care about playing Agatha. It does nothing. It looks like they're no no you can't tap that, yeah. Looks like they're playing or March. Gaining two life. I think I'll kill my own orc to deny them two life and pump my other orc. I think it's worth it. It's like three damage. And even if they go Vrat, they're dead on board. I don't know. I feel like it would be a very interesting content. And I think as a streamer and YouTuber, it's just... Like the reason why people uh, don't watch Magic Online is because it's too slow. Like my opponent played five turns, it took three minutes. You know, I, I took 65 seconds. I'm not saying my opponent is slow, they're probably doing something else. Like if, whereas if you just join a 10 minutes queue, you're only doing that. I think Agatha is bad in this matchup because they have Clink to Dust. I think I'm fine in keeping in one though.
You don't know if you've got enough interest. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's true. I mean, that's, that's probably why they, they won't do it. But, like, they have a best of one queue in draft. You know? Like, they have a best of one draft league that I don't think that... I mean, there's, like, this format's been out forever, and there's, like, Hurston with one trophy. You know? Like, the other normal draft is 13 trophy. So, like, basically nobody plays this league. And they kept it around. They said, we're gonna keep it around. So, you know, they had interest for it. I feel like if there's interest for best of one magic, there's literally interest for anything. Because, like, there's not a worse format than best of one. It's really just the bottom. It can't get worse than best of one magic, I think. Bottoming portal calling. Legion's down for the mirror, you think? Yeah, I would say that. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna ask that again. A, a bunch of reasons why I don't play arena. Uh, the formats is one of the bigger. Yeah, I also. Had a um, the worst time of my life during COVID, and I tie a lot of my memory to Magic Arena during those days. So opening that client um, turns on a lot of uh, really bad memories for me. Only thing about best of one Magic is killing in five minutes. Exactly. Yeah. That's the same thing for my idea of 10 minutes clock. Like imagine how lighthearted you join a match that you know it's gonna last at the very maximum 10 minutes. Like how often you just don't join a match because like I don't know if I have the time to play for an hour, you know. It happens so often in, in Magic Online if you're playing. Whereas, how cool is that on Magic Arena, you join in the bathroom? I mean, also because, like, you don't lose literally anything because everyone's playing for free. That's also part of, I guess, the Arena um, appeal. Yeah, exactly. It's playing in the toilet is... Um... Man, I line up the void, huh? It's good. I remember there was a time where I was an arena streamer that I set up a way to stream from my mobile and I was literally going to take a bathroom break and streaming from the bathroom break to Bout Strickery. Okay. Uh, I think I'm trading. Hmm. I'll go for Minato Mage. I don't think I want to blow up that land. I still have a forest in my deck. The best arena, the best arena memory championship is going to be the limitation. Yeah, for sure. But as you might know, <laughs> the. A worst memory counts 100 times the best memory. Or, I mean, maybe not for you, but for me. Okay, yeah, I really don't want a Stone Rain. I'd rather attack with a 2 2. Or, oh, Yogmoth. I could probably do that. Keeping Core for like Grist. Hmm. Uh, I think I'm gonna f blow up this this field of ruin now. So 
Since I don't have any more basics, did I fetch up a basic at some point? I think I did. That was a mistake. Oh, but it fits the token. You're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Totally should have. They shouldn't have had this token. Put a crest into play. Pick up and pass. Okay, they cycle troll of Kazan Doom. Yeah. I feel like I mean later I'm I'm streaming Mono Black and I'll have troll in my deck. I don't know how to feel about that. I know how to feel about Leyland of the Void. This card sucks. It's terrible. Anytime you put it in your deck, you are lowering the chance to win. Hmm, Elven Cores. Should I fetch up a Shield Grid? Probably not. By the way, this is something that I was not intuitive. So if you sacrifice a creature to kill orc, they get an orc trigger. This is an important rule. Oh wow. Hanging cursed instead. Okay. Okay, course. Delighted halfling. A grist on top. Should I attack here? Nah. I'll leave the Court for Dried Arbor play available. You can also proliferate. Did I leave in... Uh, I, I must have left in here where I might. Yeah. Okay, so they have Cabal Coffers. They have a lot of mana. Hmm. On tap. Draw. Strangegeist. Wall Roots. Orkish Bowmaster. Ping that. Uh, Wall of Roots. I will uh, kill that, draw a card, plus one, okay, there are 18, I could uh, cord for what, I guess I could cord for uh, shield grid, you can even attack right, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, yeah I can cord for shield grid, Oh, yeah, I mean, this card is very good for sure. For the grindy matchups. Go. Must have drawn that.
I can choose not to shuffle. That's funny. I would have shuffled anyway on the turn. Green, green. Play chord. Hmm. Is Shieldred lethal? Probably. I don't know. Um, heal the top. Small roots. I don't know. Let me just attack with all. And then, uh, I should probably have done something else, but something else. Come on, upon your landing end. I hate this, just click the button. What's your life total for? Hmm. Let's play wall. Let's sacrifice something. Let's sacrifice something. Split wall. Let's play Springgeist. Uh, I don't want to play that. I'll sacrifice this. Sacrifice this. Yeesh. Um, draw. A on chord. For might. Kill that. Play Young Wolf. Play Land. And I pass. Uh, the game is over, so my opponent will just um. No, I have to report in the sideboard, but it really doesn't matter. I can just cord for or Kishbow Master. I have a deterministic win. They draw step, go to two, I have orc on top which I can cast, go to one and I can core for another orc. But my point is just the worst type that they just dead on board, just don't click the button.
Hold. All right. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope this video was you liked this video, and uh, if you did, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.